hello good morning good afternoon good evening whatever the time is wherever you are you are very welcome to my channel thank you very much for clicking i'm sure youtube must have sent you so many other videos but you clicked on mine and i really really appreciate it probably because because of the topic that i'm going to be discussing today you found yourself in a position where you will need the advice i'm going to give if you have if you are in that position then you are very welcome to my channel maybe you have issues with loan sharks you've taken out money from from a loan company or even from a bank and you are unable to pay and you don't know what to do you are in the right place okay i'm going to be giving you step by step guide on what you need to do in order to bring yourself out from that condition i have been in that position before so anything i'm going to tell you now i will tell you from a position of authority from the position of somebody who knew what to do who i didn't know what to do actually as i then but i did my research and i implemented these step-by-step -step actions and today i am death free nobody is going to call my phone nobody is harassing me and telling me that they're going to to make me go viral on the internet for being a chronic death talk okay so now i understand the way nigeria is and i think that is even the situation in most african countries any country where the economy is poorly managed you are going to find a lot of loan sharks there to take advantage of the situation and impoverish the people further than that okay so even if you are listening to me and you are not yet in debt i'm going to be giving tips on how to make sure that you don't find yourself in a position where you have to dial anybody's ussd code to collect money sharp sharp okay now if you are in that position the first thing i need you to understand is this you are not alone okay stop panicking you would think that Maybe you are the only one. No, that text message that the loan shark is sending to you. I assure you that many other loan sharks are sending it to other people and you are not the only one who is in debt. Debt in itself is not even a bad thing. The fact that you collected loan is not a bad thing. You are not a criminal for collecting loan. Second thing I need you to do is to clear your head, okay? I need you to take decisions from a very rational perspective. How did you even get into that place? Because you were panicking. You were running from pillar to post. So for most people, and especially me, that was what I did. You now collect money from this loan app and give this one. You collect money from this one to give this one just because you want to keep them at bay. But you have not done anything that is going to improve your economic standing so that you are going to be able to offset those loans. That is what most people do in their panic state. So do not panic sit down and make a rational a rational um, appraisal of the state of your finances what are you doing because you cannot sit around collecting loans forever and ever right that's not a way to live I, as a matter of fact i always advise people don't go and collect loan in order to start a business most people would make that mistake and because the business environment in nigeria is very hostile and it cannot stand then you find that they can't pay off the loan therefore the business is even going to die because it is going to be choked from the burden of money that is going to be paid outside of it so first of all make an appraisal of how much money you make right now if the loan shark the loan company is already on your case demanding this or this that the first thing you need to do is to send an email to that company and tell them you are not in a position to pay back this loan not that you are not going to pay but that you have to restructure the loan what loan apps are supposed to do after they've given you a loan and you cannot pay back the ideal thing to do is not to start threatening you they have made their own mistake but maybe in another video i'm going to address loan apps and loan companies on how they do they are they are engaging in sharp practices but for you that is the one who collected the money and you cannot pay back you approach them via an email or text message most of them should give you an email if they have not already handed you over to a debt recovery agent what you should do is to write an email to them and explain to them your condition explain to them how you are no longer in a position to pay back the loans and what you need to do is to restructure okay what you need to do is to restructure the loan because if you think i'm going to tell you here this is a very bitter hard truth i'm going to say now if you think i'm going to tell you that there's any legal remedy anywhere where you are going to the loan app is going to maybe be locked up the or you will be ordered not to pay no that's not going to happen and you know when you collect a loan and you're not willing to pay back it even speaks back to your integrity as a person okay and i'm not going to advise you to collect a loan and then run away that's not even fair on the people 
a contract it's still a contract so you will tell them that you are not in a position to pay it back this way so let us restructure the loans and when the lo loan is restructured in essence what's going to happen is that they will stretch back the terms of payment for you and then spread it in a way that you are going to be able to pay normally they should take cognizance of how much you earn and you see that is the reason why first of all if you are in a position where you've taken out a loan and you don't have money to pay back you must first of all go and find something that you are going to do that will bring money for you and it is on the basis of your income that they are going to be able to restructure your loan for you for example if you are a civil servant anyway the kind of loans they give civil servants is such that you mo they will not give you a loan that is going to make you bankrupt when you are in a state of bankruptcy it means that the loan that is going to the amount of money they'll be removing from your salary should not exceed 30 percent basically so the loan company is going to restructure it in such a way that they will take a percentage that will leave you with a decent wage and you will be able to pay that loan back within a longer period of time but you are going to pay that loan therefore if you know you are in a condition right now where you you don't know where you can get the money from swallow your pride as we say in nigeria swallow it with a bath and draw soup mm? and then find a way that you're going to get a job where you will pay that money back you double up your hustle if you if you are an office person maybe if you have a car then you're going to have to start doing uber or do taxi or something but you must pay back that loan and you will only be able to restructure it at this point let me introduce you to the federal consumer competition and protection commission FCCPC. Another thing that you can do is to write a letter and I'm going to drop the link of FCCPC in the description box so that you are going to see what that commission is all about. That is the government agency in Nigeria that is empowered to protect Nigerian consumers from all sorts of people who are trying to take advantage of you in any way. Now, this means that that commission is saddled with the responsibility of protecting you from loan sharks to make sure that you are not unduly exploited by loan sharks but the beautiful thing about fccpc is that they are not just confined to dealing with loan apps and loan sharks but even online vendors any form of com of service that is provided and you were not satisfied by that service you can always copy the fccpc CPC and they will take action between one day and 45 days. I mean, they have a time frame within which they will wade into your matter if you file your complaint the right way. So, if you feel like the interest rate was too much, you can file a complaint to the FCCPC and they will intervene within the first day to the 45 days of you're filing the complaint okay and if the loan app the loan company is found to be in default they are going to be penalized so when you send your letter to uh, them for example i told you in the beginning or a few minutes ago that you should copy you should, you should write a letter to the loan company asking them to restructure the loan copy that letter to the fccpc so that they will know that something like that is on ground some of these loan companies as a matter of fact most of them are not duly registered under the fccpc because before you can become a money lender you must go and register under the corporate affairs commission it's not anybody that will wake up and decide that he's now borrowing money and charging at with an interest so if you find that that company is not registered under the fccpc or under the cac then there is a penalty for that some loan apps have even been shut down because they were engaging in all these sharp practices okay so this is your second remedy write a letter to fccpc and fccpc is going to wade into the matter and make sure that you are not unduly exploited okay so what have i said i said write and ask that the loan be restructured for you from the loan app and copy that letter to the FCCPC. FCCPC means Federal Competition, uh, Federal Consumer Competition and Protection Commission. That is the meaning. Now, the jurisdiction of FCCPC does not just end with loan, uh, 
companies it also extends to vendors i know of people who have bought things from online vendors and they were not satisfied and they copied the fccpc and the fccpc did something about it and the matter was resolved i know of people who went and withdrew money from pos agents mobile money agents and it didn't work out and the fccpc also intervened so do not panic okay and now remember this i'm going to say this as a last word that if you run away from paying your loan for example you think because you live in sokoto and the loan company is in lagos they are going to write your name in amcom when you are registered as a bar, as an offender in amcom you are never going to be able to access any loan anywhere and for me that's a way of matching your cutting off your leg by yourself okay don't do something like that you will just need to find a favorable way you are going to pay off that loan that is all i hope this video made some sense to you i hope you were able to get something from it and if you did write in the comment section for me what you think needs to be done again in order to protect consumers and make us more resilient against loan apps i thank you for for watching and staying till the end remember to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you all in my next video and like this video again for the algorithm because that's going to help a lot of people who are in this mess i really appreciate you and i will see you all in my next one bye bye